welcome, this is a tutorial for Demolition Master Lite, free version of Demolition Master. In DM Lite you have 4 materials to play with. Deflectors, concrete, glass, and steel objects. Another important and principal object are bullets. You can specify the shooting object, move it, rotate it, Change the size of bullets and mite it. Change size variation, this is useful when you emit multiple bullets. You can select frame when bullet is emited. Lifespan is the duration of your bullet life in frames. Select a mass for your bullet, a speed, and speed variation also useful using multiple bullets. You can turn on and off gravity. We will learn how to set up an interactive fragmentation in DM Lite. Create a wall object is important to work in real scale units. Here I'm working in meters. You can convert to editable poly and edit your object, also you can import any 3D object and break it. It's important to set up your material ID's faces, don't use any material ID equal to 5. It's used by DM to emit debris. Create a material for our wall. We will use a multi-sub object. ID 1 will be exterior faces and ID 5 the fragmented faces. Apply material to wall. Floor is already set up as a deflector objects. As you Select can see, an interactive wall will automatically add the wall to the discrete big Check objects. instance shape and hide it. Now wall is inside Demolition Master. We can control all options on concrete dynamic break rollout. Check on off dynamic break. You can change pre-break size in real time. Break size is fragmentation size on impact point. To see it in action, move shooting object in position, move your timeline, wall is fragmented in real time. Click play, this is cool. Also we have secondary fragmentation. We will turn it off for now and will focus on dynamic break. When bullet frags the wall it change wear a frame color to green. Change break size and see how your simulation changes in viewport. A really cool feature is that you can edit or move your shooting object and see how simulation is updated in real time, you have a total feedback over your destruction. Increase impact zone, bullet now make more destruction. With Val to Lev 1 you can find tunning destruction. We will see now secondary fragmentation. I will increase fragmentation size of principal impact to see it better. Yellow where a frame frags are the frags that will travel to secondary fragmentation. Open concrete secondary break and turn it on. After a while all yellow frags will be fragmented again.
we can change secondary brake size in any moment. In this frag you can see the impact zone, is the red wear frame color, we can increase or decrease it and have a real time feedback. We have this little frag here that is also breaking. Maybe you don't want to break little frags, can be CPU intensive, you can control this with min size. Fragments smaller than this value will not be fragmentated. We can add detail on demolition master demolitions in an essay way, adding debris. Open debris rollout and check concrete, debris will be created on fragmented faces. On concrete debris rollout we can edit debris properties. Change min size so only bigger frags will emit debris. With min vel only faster frags will emit debris. Shot is number of debris emitted by every concrete fragment. Change speed variation to see more variation. Size controls debris size and you can change size variation also. This adds sense of scale to our demolition. Splash debris creates a splash of concrete particles when big fragment hits the ground. Also you can control splash properties on concrete splash debris rollout. We have edited one shot, but with Demolition Master you can also create multiple shots. First we will animate our shooting object. Create a key on final position. Create another key on first frame. And I will add a third key, moving a little in z-axis. I reposition keys in time. Now our shooting object is animated but we have only one bullet. We can create multiple bullets in an easy way. Go to bullet rollout and change birth type from one shot to particles by second. We have multiple bullets in scene. Now are very big, change bullet size and also add some size variation. Decrease rate, we want less bullets. Now our shooting object will emit bullets until frame 120, increase it to 150 for example. Add some speed variation. And this is all. Hit play and see Demolition Master in action. We have activated secondary fragmentation and can be a little slowly. But we have made the demolition setup in less than 2 minutes. With lot of control over our demolitions, possibility to add debris with only one click, very stable dynamics solver, and real-time feedback. If you like Demolition Master Lite, consider to purchase Demolition Master Pro, with more materials, possibility to emit bullets from surface, breakable bullets, more debris types, FMF particles, and more control over demolition.
download Demolition Master on nvfx.com.